The main difference of uh, space versus Earth is gravity. Uh, when you recreate the Earth atmosphere on this International Space Station, you recreate pretty much everything similar to Earth, but one thing, gravity. And the absence of gravity is a significant impact. It's the only parameter of life, the only one that has never evolved since life exists on Earth. When you remove it, you create a, a, different, a lot of different dynamics and a lot of different evolutions, which is what we're trying to capture. So I imagine that affects something like the sediments that you'd find in the bottle, if you've ever left a bottle of wine and you find that little silt. So it affects uh, the interactions between multiple components. Uh, and, you know, wine is a living thing. There are yeast, there are bacteria, uh, and there's an ongoing evolution in, in a, what is a multi-component biological system. So this is exactly what we're going to study. Uh, and, you know, the bottle of wines are only a component of Mission Wise, which is this first comprehensive research program that Space Cargo Unlimited is conducting in space. Uh, we also have 320 vine plants that are going to come back from the International Space Station that have been exposed uh, since March to the absence of gravity. And we're going to replant them back on Earth and grow these uh, evol evolved species of vine plants with the intent to make uh, to find out how they can be more resilient to the climate change stressors that unfortunately are affecting uh, our entire planet and agriculture. And Nicola, just quickly, so, who gets to taste the wine when it comes back down to Earth? And it's, let's imagine that this has created some brilliant new, amazing wine. Are you going to be selling this space age wine? So uh, the, the program is a research program. So the, the intent is to not only taste the wine because there are a number of things we cannot chemically or genetically analyze. analyze. We need to taste it. Uh, so the tasting will be done by uh, the uh, Institut des Sciences de la Vigne et du Vin, which is our research lab in Bordeaux, which is probably one of the most well-known uh, research lab on wine in the world, uh, along with a number of experts, including Franck Dubourdieu, who is a very uh, well-known uh, wine analyst. 